What is going on everybody, Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Division 2 video. In this video guys, I'll be showing you how to get the exotic SMG, the Chatterbox. Now, this weapon is a beast and it isn't that hard to get, it just requires a bit of RNG and obviously if you want to craft this gun at its highest level, make sure you are world tier 4. But with that being said guys, the winner from last video's Division 2 giveaway will be on screen right now. Um, if you'd like a chance at winning a copy of the game, um, it's up to you guys. If you want to, leave a like on the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, remember, I'll be picking a winner from this video on my next video. So yeah, with that being said, guys, the Razer laptop giveaway is now over. I will be announcing the winner in a few hours on Discord. So make sure you're in the Discord channel to see if you've won that Razer Blade laptop. And don't worry, I'll be running a massive giveaway soon. But yeah, let's just get on to uh, this weapon. So the Chatterbox SMG. Uh, let's go over the perks and I guess some general gameplay on what it'll be good in. So it is a, pretty much it's a P90. It's uh, an exotic P90. If you didn't know, exotic is one above high end. So it's the red tier. Um, they all look unique, which I love about it. This one has a little like gas canister thing that just like shoots like a plume of smoke it's pretty cool uh we got 8.2k damage 700 rpm 60 in the mag accuracy stability reload time 1.6 seconds and uh, let's go on to the perks so we have incessant chatter so every shot landed grants one percent rate of fire to a max of 60 percent this resets on reload that's awesome. Then we got box magazine. Kills with this weapon refill 20% of its magazine and grants a buff for 10 seconds. That is so good. Let me tell you how good that is when I've been using it earlier. It was so good. And while the buff is active, every shot landed increases magazine capacity by 1 to a max of 60. Killing a target consumes the buff to fully refill the increased magazine. This perk by itself is absolutely crazy. You can pretty much fire forever with this gun and then you've got blabbermouth while hosted reloading your weapon within five seconds after a kill grants 20 percent rate of fire for 10 seconds so even when it's holstered it buffs your other weapons which is nuts um so you probably are wondering how to get it by now you you all want this weapon and i'm going to show you how to get it so like i said there isn't much to getting this weapon it just requires a bit of rng on i guess the amount of luck you get from getting the certain parts um you need to craft it you don't just find it um it is a weapon you need to craft so what you need to do is you need to open up hyena caches now you've probably seen these on your playthrough of the game like the little caches that require keys um these keys can be opened with hyena keys now there is different types of chests the ones we're going after in this video are hyena caches because it drops this specific exotic i guess blueprint and the parts required so um, it pretty much requires you to open, I guess, three and then one final blueprint. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. I'll be showing you the locations of all of these caches and something to add, these aren't 100% drop chance, so you may need to open maybe a few more than I did to get the needed parts. Um, bear in mind, I'm pretty sure these can be done in any order, um, so just make sure you do them in this order, just in case that isn't the case and yeah it kind of messes up so before we do anything and hunt these exotic parts for the weapon you need to farm some hyena keys to open up these caches now hyena keys can be found everywhere underground simply travel to a underground location indicated with a little down arrow with a yellow circle on the map and literally just run around for 30 minutes looking for these little boxes on the walls now these are going to contain keys for each i guess faction um try and get some hyena keys if you can do this in a group as well and try and gather a few keys between your group because the hyena caches are not 100% drop chance remember so you may need to open up multiple ones to get the parts um, and if one person opens up the hyena cache in your group it only uses his key and not yours so if you do this in a team of four it is recommended I did it with two people and we were fine so yeah just go around the underground and look for these I guess hyena keys in the little box so let's start off with the first exotic piece and how to get it. This can be found in the Grand Washington mission. Simply launch the mission on normal. You don't need to do it on hard. We're only looting the box then leaving. Um, in this mission, I managed to find two caches. So if you don't get the part from the first one, uh, we can just go to the next one. So to get the first part, simply play through the mission normally. And when you get to this corridor, 
go to the back room and in the toilet area you can find the cache. I was lucky enough to get mine here first try but if you don't get it from this one simply just keep playing the mission and when you reach the part where you're about to climb onto the roof instead of climbing make a right and the second cache in the mission will be located on the corner. So for the second exotic piece, this is located in the Jefferson Trade Center mission. Play through the mission till you reach the underground car park, and inside the loading bay at the very end will be a hyena cache. If you are lucky enough to get it, great. If not, just simply look around the general area in free play and there will be more caches scattered around. Like I said, I'll be making a guide on how to get all of the hyena caches. I was just super lucky and got mine first try. Another thing as well, these reset every 24 hours I'm pretty sure, so if it isn't there today, you can just come back tomorrow and check again. So for the third exotic piece, it is located in free play, you don't need to launch any missions. You need to head to this location on the map, and then you need to head inside the police station. Now head to the middle courtyard and there will be a fountain. Head to where I'm going in the video, there'll be an elevator shaft. Go all the way down to the basement and we're headed to the car park. In the back behind the mounted turret, there will be a hyena cache. And once again, if it doesn't drop for you, just simply look around in the area, the general vicinity, and there'll be more caches. Like I said, I'll have a guide very, very soon on that. So don't worry if you're not getting them. Don't worry, it's not a 100% drop chance, so don't worry. Now, the final part or the blueprint in fact this is where you get the blueprint now i'm pretty sure this is a hundred percent guaranteed drop so all you need to do is launch the mission bank headquarters play through the mission as you normally would and when you reach this room with the big window and the desk towards the left side of the room there will be a small hidden wall safe now it doesn't show up so you do need to walk up to it to get the prompt to open it Simply open the panel and inside will be an RFID card. Now this is for a hidden door we're going to be opening up later in the mission. So simply play through the mission and when you reach the vault door it will open and towards the left side will be a golden gate. Now use the key card on the right side of the door and inside will be the final hyena cache and it will drop the blueprint for the lost chatterbox exotic SMG. That's pretty much how to get all the parts and the blueprints. Overall, this weapon is a beast. I've yet to try in the Dark Zone, but I feel like it's going to be one of the top PvP weapons. Right now, I'm kind of using it on the side with my LMG. So from there, you can head back to your base of operations, to the crafting table, and craft. I recommend before you do this, make sure, make sure you have upgraded your crafting table to world tier 4. Why? Because if you craft it any lower, you're going to have a useless exotic and it won't be any of use to you when you do upgrade your world tier. So make sure you're on world tier 4 if you're going for this gun, otherwise it's kind of pointless. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in my next one. This has been Willis Gaming and peace.